Today I'm in a freezing cold New Brighton. It's absolutely perishing. And I've come to join the Empress Motorcycle Club on their annual Easter egg run. And this is the man here, Pete, Pete Bywater. You're the man responsible for getting me here on a freezing cold Sunday morning. So what's going on and why are we doing it? Well, it's the uh, Easter egg run. It's been going on for about 17 years now. And we just take eggs. All the bikers turn up here, take eggs to Arrow Park Hospital for the kids. Uh, and ride up there. And it's getting a little bit busier now, but I mean, how many bikes did you have on the run last year? There was four and a half thousand bikes last year. Right. And are you expecting something similar this year? Hopefully, if the weather stays dry. Right. I didn't know we are. Certainly, yeah. it's not going to get any. It must be 20 degrees colder here than it was when I left home this morning. It's Definitely. Famous for it, I believe. It is. Even in the ice of summer, it's still this cold down here. Right. Well, uh, we've got every type of bike here. You name it, we've got one here somewhere. It's absolutely freezing. Pete's got lots of organising to do, and I'm going to go and find the burger van. Now, I just found a, a very strange-looking chapper here. This is uh, Ian Emery, local bike. Ian, why have you got a chicken on your head? I didn't know I had. <laughs> Where? Where? <laughs> I was going to interview the chicken, but I thought, no, better not. That's very nice, sir. What's This is a... Uh, I noticed you've got the goggles on there. I thought, That's must, right. Must be on an old bike. Yep. Look at this. BSA 650 Lightning. 1971. Yeah. 650. I've had it about uh, 10 or 12 years now. Right. Um, and it's, it's had a little bit of tender loving care, this, hasn't it? It's it had has. a bit, have you done all that? It, I restored it 10 years ago right. when it came back from the States. Yeah. And uh, I've been running it ever since. Right. And you're not, not tempted to go for the new technology and all the high tech stuff you get these days? Not really, no. 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 Sooner stick to the old traditional bikes. You still look a bit daft with goggles on your head on the Fireblade, won't you? True, yeah. And a chicken. And a chicken. Even dafter. Yep. <laughs> Well, here we've got a, a trike full of Easter eggs, and uh, Gary's the, uh, are you the... Are you called a pilot? Yeah, I think so, yeah. <laughs> Freezing cold pilot. <laughs> this is Gary and his, uh, his beloved jeweller. I say beloved because there's an interesting story about this trike uh, to do with your wedding. Yeah, well, we got married in September, and me and my mate Chris built this mainly for the wedding. And uh, we got married on it with Julie in a full wedding dress. I come through St. Helens Town Centre with the bike. <laughs> there on the back with the wedding dress flying up in the air. <laughs> you didn't have the vicar on here, did you? No. no, 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 right. Brings a whole new meaning to getting your leg over, I suppose, doesn't it? Anyway, well, there you go. So you've got a load of Easter eggs here from all over. Well, the lads uh, from Ford Sea Shift, uh, Hales uh, Post Office, all donated NASDA in Ditton. Right. And we had about 150 eggs all together. Excellent, good stuff. Well, I'm absolutely starving. I can't get a burger, the queue's too big. Have you not got a spare egg, have you? Uh, you better ask the boss. <laughs> ask, <laughs> ask him, they're all passing the book. <laughs> Well, I said we'd see every kind of bike here today, everything from the latest superbike to some of the oldest bikes that are still on the road. This is Tony Pollard. Tony, what's what's this? This is your pride and joy. Yeah, this is a 58 G11 uh, matchless, right. uh, made out from uh, a box of bits. A box of bits? Yes, a box of bits, yes. Really? And lovingly restored. It's absolutely pristine condition. Have you, is that all your own work? That's all my own work, yes. Yeah. Excellent. Done, it's been done about four years now. Right, right. Yeah, so... You not be taking that out on salty winter mornings so often. Uh, oh, I do. I yeah. use this every day. Oh, I'm a man after my own heart. That's what I like to. Look at these fair weather bikers. I can't be doing yeah, with them. I've got a time. Harley, so. Uh... Oh, he's bragging now as well. <laughs> bragging. All yeah, right. So it's Harley. Uh, depends on what, what mood you're in. Oh, I can't go out in this weather. What on the Harley? No, no. Well, it takes too long to clean. <laughs> yeah, that's the trouble. <laughs> Well, you know, I feel as though I've just blinked and all of a sudden it's gone mad round here. There's, there's thousands and thousands of bikes. Pete, I mean, it, this is awesome, isn't it? It is, yeah. It's absolutely unbelievable. Have you any idea yet how many's here? Going off last well, year? Well, last year, all down there was four and a half thousand bikes. Right. Well, now we've got all the rest of that road up there. And it's just incredible. It must be five and a half thousand. Absolutely incredible. You know, anyone who thinks that these b bikers, you know, I mean, me included, they think we're all dirty, greasy hooligans who ride around frightening old ladies, you should come here and see what the lads have done here today. It's absolutely incredible. 
Anyway, I've got my map. I haven't got a clue where I'm going, but... Uh, Neither have we. <laughs> nobody knows what's happening. But anyway, uh, have a good trip and we'll see you at the hospital. I will do. Thanks a lot, mate. Cheers. Looks like the whole of Merseyside has been taken over by motorbikes today. All the traffic stopped. We don't care about cars. This is absolutely brilliant. It's fabulous. You've got to get on one of these. It's unbelievable. You know, they told me, they said cars aren't allowed on this convoy. Just a minute. Oh. Hello? That's it, that's what it's all about. Or should I say, this is what it's all about. Everybody on the run today has had an exciting time. It's been an excellent turnout. And this is exactly what it's all about. Yeah. Enough of my crappy jokes. Let's uh, go and see where all these eggs are gonna go. I'll just interrupt these nurses here. Hello there, uh, you've obviously come to collect some eggs. I have indeed, right, yeah. So then all these eggs, there's millions of them here, they're not going to stay here in this hospital, are they? N um, well, I'm collecting for A&E, so they are going to other uh, hospitals in the area, right, such as Clasbridge. <laughs> and they go to children's homes and places like that's that? That's right, yeah. So, yeah. So, but we see a lot of children down in A&E, so obviously, um, in the Easter holidays, the children yeah. appreciate the eggs. When and you don't see too many bikers down there, do you? Uh, we do, we see enough of them, we look after plenty of those. <laughs> too many, right. Right, well, I'll let you carry on and Thanks get your Thanks very eggs. much. Well, this is the man who knows exactly what it's all about today, the big chief of uh, Empress Motorcycle Club, Graham Martin, you're the, the president. Yes, indeed. Right, this is a fabulous turnout. This is brilliant, isn't it? It certainly is, yeah. This yeah. is the best turnout we've had, and it's, um, you know, beyond our expectations. And have you any idea how many? I mean, who's going to count these bikes? Well, the police usually do a count. We usually do a count, and there's usually a count done by um, the group that's a marshal at the hospital. Right. Any ideas what we're looking at today? Um, I would suspect about 7,000 bikes. Dear me, that's tremendous. You no, know, I've been trying to follow this route all the way along, and not in the convoy because cars are banned from the convoy, obviously. Yes. Um, we've been trying to tap into the route, and everywhere we went, it, we, we just couldn't get to the end. We couldn't get to the beginning. So, what's the stretch of this this convoy when it's out on the road? Well, the leading policeman um, told me, called me to the next to him when we were on the Mel's stretch and said that the back of the convoy was just going around Wallasey Village roundabout, which must be a, somewhere around eight miles. Eight miles? Yes. So apologies to everyone in Merseyside who's been out shopping this morning <laughs> because they've got nothing done. But it's, it takes a bit of organising this, doesn't it? The, I mean, it's, It does, yes. So, I mean, how long in the, in the organising is it? Do you start now for next year? Um, well, uh, we give it a couple of months and then we start right. the organisation, yeah. Because it's, it's tremendously well coordinated with the police and we've had the Raynet guys on the amateur radios that have been helping us out. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's a fabulous thing, isn't it? I mean, and the, the people here at the hospital, they, they love you a lot, don't they? <laughs> yeah, I think it's, I think it's excellent. It's, um, we're helped by so many people. I mean, we couldn't run it without the police. I mean, they, and they are excellent every year. And I, it's, just, it's just, you know, blowing out of... Uh, As I keep saying, the best advert in the world for motorbikes. Well, I think so, yes. I mean, people have this strange image that bikers go around punching each other and smashing up <laughs> places and the like. And you, you come here, there's never been any trouble, and there never is. No, it's no. The Excellent. Brilliant. A great day.
Well, there you go. 4,000 and something. Don't know who's counted them, but an awful lot of bikers all come to Anna Park Hospital here to donate their eggs. Doesn't sound very good, that, does it, really? But you know what I mean. Isn't this just the best advert for bikes you've ever seen in your life? They've all come here today in their own time. It's costing them money to do it for no personal gain. Absolutely fabulous.